What is going on my fellow Normakians and viewers, got another NTV review for you guys, and today's NTV review is going to be for the PlayStation 3 version of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution. This game is available also for the PC and Xbox 360, and this game runs at a lower rate at launch. It's actually running for $49.99 US dollars rather than $59.99 US dollars just like your typical game. So you're getting at a cheaper rate and the reason why for that is that it does not have nearly as much content as any other storm game to release today. With that being said, I did not enjoy this game and I'll tell you why but let's go ahead and start off uh, with some of the modes that are added into this particular title. So of course you have your versus uh, free battle, you have your online mode, but there's two other modes that are implemented into this game that has not been in any other Storm game. And one is called the Ninja Escapities, which I cannot pronounce right I'm sure, so I'm going to call it the Ninja Escapist uh, mode for this review. And the other mode that is being implemented is the Ninja World Tournament. So when you think about it, it's like the Martial Arts World Tournament from Dragon Ball Z, but Naruto style, so the Ninja World Tournament. Uh, let's go ahead and start talking about the Ninja World Tournament. So this is what CyberConnect2 is promoting as its story mode in a sense. It has some cutscenes, it has dialogue, overall it's cheesy. Over And after a little bit of time playing the this mode, you do unlock the Mecha Naruto story portion of this, but it's still the Ninja World Tournament and I just find the whole experience very tedious very slow and overall just boring and a waste of time now that's just my opinion of course but you do have the adventure aspect that storm 2 and 3 offered into this mode but you're on this island and you can do side missions um, there's areas that you can't get into unless you continue to progress in the uh, ninja world tournament tournament battles which there are tons to do and which are four people fighting against each other on a stage and it's crazy because it's not support characters actually four characters in one stage um, as you guys may or may not know if you guys are familiar with the storm games it's normally one-on-one -on -one. Uh, of course you have two support characters as a cho choice to choose from but not in this case you're actually fighting three other people um, and it works it's not bad it's a good test for future Naruto games possibly considering that this is exclusive to this mode um, you cannot do this locally like if you want to do uh, four player battles at one time uh, with your friend you can't it's only for this mode same with online this is not a feature for online so it's kind of interesting how they took uh, upon this feature to do that through this mode uh, but it works but you're do doing this over and over again and I mean you're not really getting anywhere like I said there's dialogue there's story and you could choose any other uh, any character for this mode you could choose Madara Uchiha and they'll talk to you like like you're just a random person like they're not scared of you it's like oh okay but no big deal also this is the mode where you'll purchase some of the stuff that will go into other modes such as online mode so if you want to unlock some gear which you are able to use for the characters in the game uh, to customize for the online mode you're able to do that but only through the ninja world tournament mode will you get these items which is kind of interesting um, but that's pretty much it to that mode there's not much else I can really say about that mode um, the other mode the ninja escapist mode is the only mode worth paying attention to considering this is what I would consider the story aspect of the game but it has nothing to do with what's going on in the anime or the manga right now this is actually backstory that most of it has not been shown in the anime which makes this game worth getting for this aspect only so you got three different um, storylines that are being shown in this mode so you got the creation of the Akatsuki which basically shows the creation of the Akatsuki so if you know all the members of this um, evil group you get to see how it all comes together you're getting your anime scenes which look absolutely stunning and beautiful and it fades into a fighting sequence which is just beautiful I really really hope that other anime games that don't know how to make great cutscenes uh, using their in-game engine would just take upon making a actual anime portion for the cutscenes and then you know actually using their you know game engine for the um, 
mechanics of the game if it's a fighter or an adventure game if that makes any sense but this is overall my favorite uh, story out of the ninja escapist mode but there are two other stories available in this mode which the other one is called the two uchiha which has the characters itachi uchiha and sishui uchiha which is itachi's best friend and um, this has been shown in the anime, but you kind of see it in a different way. Um, Donzo is part of this story, so the fight between Sishui and Donzo was part of a filler episode on Naruto. And you do see that same battle on here, but it's relocated and there's quite a few differences between the two, but still awesome to watch because you're seeing it in a different perspective and either way it goes, it's awesome and I did enjoy this too. Um, the last story they have for this mode is the far reaches of hope and this is just a big cutscene. I was disappointed at first when I found that out but when I thought about it it's like wow that's kind of deep because towards the end Krishina which is uh, Naruto's mom basically was saying to the fourth Hokage if we ever have a son I wanted to be like Obito and there's a badass cutscene towards the end it's like Obito and Madara sitting on top of the ten tails while Naruto in front of the whole hidden lead village uh, ninja behind uh, b besides him be behind him to you know have his back to fight this war it's just like wow you do not want Naruto to be like Obito because Obito is a bad guy but it was so awesome and plus the animation looked awesome and plus we're hearing the English dub for the first time in this um, part of the uh, arc I guess you could say but that is a hour 20 minute experience i guess you can say and it's worth it for that aspect but i would not buy it i will wait for it to get cheaper i will wait uh, i would rent it if you have the ability to do that but overall i did not enjoy the game but that last few things i will point out that are actually improved um, all the characters uh, which is actually over 100 characters in the game which is huge um, all the mechanics in the fighting aspect of this game has been updated for most of the characters of course there's a lot of fancy costumes for some of the characters in the game also there are some updated ju ultimate jutsus that are implemented into the characters which is almost like the best part of the naruto storm franchise which is the ultimate jutsu it's just the cinematic experience of watching a jutsu happen on the game that's not shown on the show or it's just you know awesome basically and also a new thing implemented into the game is team ultimate jutsu so certain characters can be paired up if, um, with the, your character and they'll be your support character and if you do your ultimate jutsu they'll actually do a ultimate jutsu together and it's amazing um, but not much else could really be said so the online mode's still there I still suck at it and I cannot play it worth crap but it's there if you are good at the storm online at all and it works fine from what I can tell of course you could continue to customize your ninja info card so people can look at your little profile picture your title so people can kind of get to know you it's like oh this guy is a rogue ninja and he has uh, I don't know a frog on his little icon picture just random stuff but yeah, overall it's a decent game I don't even say it's worth $50, it's worth more like $20, so definitely wait for a price to go down. I will, I will say, um, play it if you can, if you are a fan of Naruto, but if you're not a fan of Naruto, I mean, naturally, you may actually easily enjoy it. I don't know, but I just wanted to get this review out so you guys uh, know how I feel about this game. I want to do more reviews, and I definitely want to have them be more organized, and this structure, hopefully, everything in the editing process goes well for me, since I'm just doing the commentary portion right now. I will also be releasing the Escapist, aka the three side stories as a playthrough if you guys want to check that out if it's not out already. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the review and of course if you have played the game and enjoyed it or didn't enjoy it and you guys want to agree, disagree or just really anything that comes to mind, any feedback is definitely welcome and appreciated. Just leave that down below in the comments area. Of course give this video a thumbs up and thumbs down if you enjoyed the video or not. And subscribe if you're not already for any other game content I post on my channel for the random viewers wa watching this video. And of course to my current sub subscribers, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time my fellow Normakians and viewers, Normak signing out. Peace.